Hello everybody, welcome to this quick demo on Video Embedded Content Grabber. So this is pretty much an easy idea, just get the URL for your video, put it here, and click Fetch. When you click Fetch, you're gonna get the video, the embedded video, the code for that video, and the URL for the image, you put it inside a, an image here. So we're gonna uh, bring two things, the thumbnail and the video. So uh, this is the main idea. Uh, this project support uh, YouTube, uh, Vimeo, you can click Vimeo here, put the link here, fetch video. So you're gonna fetch the video and get its thumbnail. So in this project we get the largest thumbnail. So now see the size of Vimeo thumbnail is larger than the YouTube one. So for Meta Cafe, the same thing. We just give it, go for the Meta Cafe and put the, you know, the URL, feature the content, and we can, you know, get the video here. Uh, the same thing for Daily Motion. Uh, you can fetch video again. So we're gonna see the video over here. So the same process. Um, and also, f there's other support for many websites, but there's no guarantee uh, that support all the video websites in the world. I can say uh, these are the most uh, supported websites for this application: YouTube, Vimeo, Meta Cafe, Daily Motion, and Break. Um, so, so basically, we used here jQuery and PHP and uh, we use JSON and Ajax and uh, to develop this this application uh, basically um, you want to see the code here um, so we use the uh, uh, here we declare two methods one for getting the ID for Vimeo and one for getting the ID for the video for Meta Coffee and also uh, we used uh, two approaches uh, one is used for Vimeo and Meta Cafe because um, they got their unique identifier in a special manner so the, here they put Vimeo and directly ID Meta Cafe they put um, watch and basically uh, the main difference also is not about getting the video, you get the video, but about getting the thumbnail. So th this is the basic, uh, or uh, you know, the, the the main thing that uh, we need to to get solved in order to get the thumbnail from Vimeo and Meta Cafe. So that's why we use JavaScript and jQuery here in order to um, you know get the thumbnail independently from the video. So this is pretty much for Vimeo and Meta Cafe, and for the two uh, the other two websites, the Meta, uh, the you know the YouTube and Daily Motion, they are similar to each other. So we get the thumbnail and the video at the same time uh, without any complexity. So we just um, we call the we have two methods here: one for get embedded code, and other method for get image URL, and for the URL, we need to substitute the 160 small thumbnail with the largest size possible, or, or, or with this uh, size. So we substitute 160 times 120 with 480 and 360. So that's why we got a little bit um, some kind of unified size for all the thumbnails. So like Vimeo here. Uh, when we grab the content from Vimeo, we got a similar size to the YouTube one. But you know, according to the thumbnail generated from Vimeo, this is the size that we can use here. Uh, so this is pretty much for uh, this uh, demo. Um, you know, you can, after getting the video and the thumbnail, you can use the thumbnail in the main page and when you click in the, you know, you can save it to the database, save the embedded code to the database, and you can use it in other time, you know. So, and this is pretty much good because sometimes you need to generate uh, the thumbnail for this video and use it in your website. So in this way, 
you already got the thumbnail so we got the URL here and you yeah, let me just copy the URL you can get the URL for the thumbnail and you can save it to the database and use it later in your blog or in your website and okay so this is pretty much for this demo I hope you like it guys uh, don't forget to subscribe with likes comments and uh, see you in another video thank you for watching